Kent Clothier here, and I'm gonna talk about how to have it all, right? How to not work yourself to death in this business. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of our students, a lot of people around the country right now are having an enormous amount of success because the market is so white hot, right? There, things are heating up. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, but I don't have a life. Uh, I'm working myself to death. There's so much opportunity. I can't, I, I don't really own a business. I own a job. I mean, it's very simple to see if you fall into this category. Um, leave, walk away, go away for two weeks. Don't tell anybody, maybe make a couple phone calls, but go away for a couple weeks. Take your wife, take your husband, whoever on vacation and come back in two weeks. If the business is still there, then you might actually have a business. If there's more money in your bank account than when you left, you definitely have a business. Either one of those things not true. If the cash register just kind of stopped, if the money stopped flowing, if the opportunity stopped flowing, if the deal stopped coming, if the marketing stopped coming, you don't have a business. You have a job, and you have a job that is probably grinding you to death. All right, listen, we get into this whole business. We build these amazing things so that we can have freedom, only to find out that that seems like it's a, an illusion to most of us. So I'm extremely fortunate. This is my second go around. My first go around, I did it wrong, but I built an empire, right? Billions of dollars in sales every year, but all at the expense of everything that I should have held sacred, right? Went through a divorce, was, took a lot of pride in being at the office at 5.30 in the, in the morning, took a lot of pride in being the last one to leave at eight o'clock at night, effectively destroyed my marriage over it, effectively had no relationship with my son over it. I mean, stuff that I'm so ashamed of looking back, but I'm also extremely grateful for because it taught me what I don't want in this second go around. This business I build today is very different. I don't mind telling you, I have it all, right? I, I have people around me that run these businesses. I get to spend the time the way I want to spend it. I get to do the things I want to do. And that is not by anything but design. So how do you get there? Well, I would tell you there's three main ways to get there. You've, well, number one, you have to realize that time is not on your side, right? If you're, some of you have seen me do this before, but it's a really simple exercise to get this okay. If you're an American male, write down the number of 78. American female, write down 82. Subtract your age from that. First, humbling fact, that's how many days you have left. That's how many years you have left, I should say. Average American male lives to 78. Average American female lives to 82. Subtract your age, that's how many years you've got left. Now go multiply that times 365. That's how many days you've got left. Not a fun number, but true nonetheless. Now. Go to multiply that times 0.67 because you're going to be asleep eight hours a day, right? That's how many waking days you have left, statistically speaking. And I don't care who you are, that number is way, way too small. So the big point here is time is not on your side. What in the hell are you talking about? Why would you ever put yourself in this position? You have the opportunity to have everything you want. So go make that happen. Stop putting it off. Stop waiting. Stop talking about it like it's some elusive thing that you can't have because you can. You've gotten this far by going in the hustle mode. Well, this hustle mode will not get you to the next level, right? That's step number two. Step number two is to realize that the same actions and habits that put you here will not put you there. The same habits that put you here will not put you there. You have to change. You have to do things that are very different. You have to surround yourself with people that think very differently. You have to surround yourself with people that are actually running businesses. You have to surround yourself with people that are actually living the life you want to live. They're investing the time in their kids. They're investing in their church, charities, flying and doing you know, missionary work. Whatever it is, they're living a very, very full life. And you can learn from that. Those are the actions. Step number three is get very comfortable in this. Your job now is to fire yourself as often as you can. That's the game. It has to become a game. You have to fire yourself as often as you can. Get the hell out of the way. The only way you create freedom is to break free. That's it. The only way to create freedom is to break free. You have to be comfortable putting people in places to do the things that you need them to do. Not everybody's gonna work out. Not everybody's gonna do it great. Not everybody's gonna even do it good, but you've got, it's worth the risk. 
Because back to step number one, time's not on your side. What's your alternative? To sit around and wait? You have to go. Your kids are dependent on it. Your family's dependent on it. Your church is dependent on it. Your community is dependent on you becoming everything you're capable of becoming. Don't wait. So get comfortable, just like you got here, right? Everything that got you here was uncomfortable at one point. This is uncomfortable as well. Hire somebody. Hire a personal assistant, number one. Hire an acquisitions person, number two. Hire an appointment setter, number three. Hire somebody to go run comps for the properties. Whatever those positions are, and all those positions inside of real estate worldwide will actually help you and train all these people for you. So your whole excuse of, man, I can't train people, I don't know how to train people, we'll just train them for you, right? Send them through our courses, send them through our, our systems. They'll get trained right by virtue through attrition. We will train these people for you. That excuse is off the table. You don't get to say that anymore. This is a decision. Just decide that you actually want to have it all and stop telling yourself the nonsense that you can't. It's that simple. Follow those three steps and you'll be on the right path. Take care. Hey, it's Kent again. Thanks for uh, watching and I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Now, it's going to be somewhere like right here, this journal area covering up this logo. You'll see a subscribe button. Hit it. That way you uh, don't ever miss any of our updates. Thanks again for watching.